Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Now in this video, what we'll try to do is we'll try to implement the can activate root guard. For example, here if I am not logged in, so if I am trying to access the post data, so I am able to access the post data. But here we are showing that it is unauthorized. But the route I am able to access. So if we keep, if we, if anybody want to access this post thing, so if we redirect the user to the login, it would be better, right? So let's try to implement that one. So how we can implement? As we already know in our Angular course, we can implement that one using the route guards. That is nothing but the can activate route guard. So here, what I will try to do is let's go to the services again. So here I will implement auth dot guard dot ts. So why I'm implementing these all the things is so how to use the ngrx store ma store management in all the in all these scenarios. So that is the reason I'm implementing. So here I can write can activate so that automatically boilerplate will come. So here this is the can activate and injectable. So this is also so provided in root. And here I can oh sorry. So here I can write sorry and here I can write auth guard. Okay, auth guard can activate can activate this one and it this one will return something like boolean. Okay, <clears throat> or URL tree or it's an observable observable of boolean or url tree so or otherwise promise promise of type boolean or url tree right so these are all the union types so what is the type of data it could return now here I need to get I need to get the store I need to access the store so how we can access the store we already know that private store of store so here I can use app state okay app state okay. yeah app state I can access the app state so here the store what I will try to do is here return this dot store dot select of we have a selector that is authenticated so is authenticated dot pipe of we can use something like exhaust map or switch map or anything okay so now here what i can do i will get the authenticate authenticate or otherwise we can use the map operator also not a problem we are sending url tree or something like that right so there is no need to is in already observable okay so now map we will be sending an observable map now in this map what i what i can do is so if not of authenticate if the user is not authenticate okay i can i can sorry i need to return true if he is not if he is not authenticated i need to return so let's inject the router so we need to redirect right so now private router of type router we can inject the router here we need to redirect the user to the auth so here this dot this dot router dot create url tree so we will be creating creating the url tree sorry sorry here i can return that guy to the auth okay so if anybody access the your authenticated url so are not authenticated so that page will be redirected to the auth page or otherwise return true means it can pass to that component so now where i need to apply this auth card this is already provided in the root so just i can simply go to the app routing dot module dot ts and here in the load post i can implement can activate directly and i can use an array of auth guard so we have successfully implemented let's see whether there is any errors or not yeah, there is no errors so we have implemented now let's go to the here and i will try to access the post here so if i click on post automatically it redirected to the login see now if i try to log in with email id one two three four five six and if i click on login it went to the post and if i go to the post see i'm able to access the post here if i if i click on logout okay so if i refresh this one and if i go to the post here see i am not able to go if i can go to the counter if i click on post it is going to the auth login okay so by using the auth auth guard 
we have successfully implemented the store concept so to redirect the user to the another page okay so this is how we can implement the store manage state management concept in the auth navigation i can activate god also so by this i hope i have completed everything from my side of this project so we have completed the entire project uh, with the state management so this all entire comes under in the with the state management only so if you want to have access to this code so you can go here to the github slash lila narsimha so this is my github url and in this github url you will be able to have, have this ngrx counter so this in this one the code whatever the code i have explained you will be having all the code end to end in this one so if you are if you are practicing so if you are practicing if you are encountered with any problem so you can go to this code and you can have this sample code okay so that you can understand so what we have did in this videos in this all videos okay so practice is the main thing so you need to get practice if you get practice you can be able to handle these all the login sign up scenarios all the scenarios like this okay so this is all about the ngrx store ngrx effects and the ngrx store dev tools we, we have learned about the ngrx store first ngrx store dev tools ngrx effects we have learned these three things right now in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to see the ngrx router store so what is this ngrx router store in the angular ngrx we will try to see and afterwards we will try to see the ngrx entity so how we can handle these all the things in the ngrx entity in a simple way so we will try to see and we can close this uh, angular ngrx course after that one okay so these take this little bit only so these are the main scenarios so accessing the store accessing the action reducer and using that one in the auth guards interceptors wherever the things we want so if you want to implement so this is this is the type how we can implement okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you